All right, so we start off with uh, something basic here. We just try to do the integral. So this will become the integral from 1 to infinity x e to the negative x dx. I'm going to try my, my uh, biparts skills on this one. My biparts skills would go like this. u is equal to x. d view is equal to whatever is left over. That would force uh, u, du to be equal to dx and v to be equal to negative e to the negative x. That would put my integral at uh, negative uh, u, v. So there would be negative x, e to the negative x, minus integral of v, du. So that would make it a plus e to the negative x, dx. And of course, I'm still going from 1 to infinity. I'll do that in the end. This integral is rather harmless. Negative x, e to the negative x, uh, minus e to the negative x. And I'm going from infinity to 1. That would put us at this spot here where I'm going to plug in infinity everywhere. Um, so I will get negative infinity e to the negative infinity minus uh, e to the negative infinity. That's what happens when you plug in infinity. Minus uh, negative 1 e to the negative 1 minus e to the negative 1. Now here I'm going to have an issue because uh, this becomes... Uh, negative infinity times zero because you would put this e on the bottom it'd be one over e to the infinity this is an indeterminate form so I'm gonna have to come back to this one and try to resolve it this piece right here becomes zero uh, minus uh, this piece becomes uh, negative uh, one over e and this becomes negative uh, one over e okay one over e so so I have uh, th whatever this guy is, um, I will distribute this, it will become um, plus 1 over e plus 1 over e. So it will become 2e for this piece right here, and I still have to figure out what that one is. So I said before, whenever you run into trouble, you have to use your limits here. So I'm going to go with the limit as a goes towards infinity of um, a e to the negative a which would become, of course, uh, the limit as a goes towards infinity of a over e to the a, which when I try the plug-in method gives me infinity over infinity, which is perfect because then I can use my powerful L'Hopital procedure. So this becomes 1 over e to the a. Then I try the plug-in method again. That becomes 1 over e to the infinity, which becomes 1 over infinity, which becomes 0. Duh. So, uh, I was able to resolve this guy right here. All that work was just to try to figure out what that piece was. Um, and now I've got it. Now I'm going to put it all together in yellow. So I have 0 minus 0 plus 2 over, e over a e for a grand total of 2 over e. So, in this case, the integral turned out to be finite. Okay. Nice, huh? Alright, come back for some more examples.